What's up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is The Auditorium, I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is the return of Final Fantasy XIV, and this song is called Ink Long Dry, from, I guess, the great Google library theme. This is a two-for-one video, actually, because it's that song, and then the uh, hard version, hard difficulty, requested by Justin and Adam. Thank you guys so much. Uh, before I get started, I've heard this name thrown around a lot, Ink Long Dry, like in my comment section. People have been mentioning this song for a while, so I'm curious about that. But I also would like to say that I'm a huge fan of this like aesthetic here. It looks like a kind of, I don't know, just the whole like library, the dim lighting, everything. It looks really cool, so I just thought I would share that. The Great Gubu Library theme, Ink Long Dry. Uh, both videos are from Mecha D, and I do not know who composed this, but I can take a guess. Let's go. Oh yeah, that looks cool already. Dravania. both of them. Still though, great setting.
I wonder if, like, clocks or time are any sort of themes here, because there's a lot of, like, pendulum swings and a lot of things that reminds me of, like, a clock. Especially the time manipulation. But so far, I see just a bunch of books. one is just a little bit longer almost six minutes i'm not sure if it's also called ink long dry it just says the great google library and then hard mode so anyways let's go <laughs> Chandeliers too. I love chandeliers. Yeah, the setting is great. Whoa. It's like the song just put on like a suit. <laughs> it's, it's getting ready for a formal dinner. Often that I've heard on this channel like a song and then like a hard version. It's pretty rare. Love the aesthetic. I even like the color choices, like that nice jade green and the browns. Really cool in contrast. We're back to that whole like ticking sound. One of the more unique songs I've heard of the whole catalog I've had so far. I can safely say that I'm very intrigued in the like the dungeon or regular walking around music at this point. I feel like everything I've heard thus far has been mostly battles, so it's nice to hear the variety. Kind of like a Hogwarts type of thing. So based on the footage, which is rare for me to get, I'm getting a couple themes here 
clocks, books, and haunted. But this is a totally different, completely different vibe from the first one. Oh, the lights turned on on its own. See, that's what I mean by haunted. This, this song right here, this hard, this hard mode, sounds unlike most of 14 that I've heard. Both songs together are very unique, but this one, I can only think of like one others that's close. I forgot his name, but it's also piano. the Harrier. <laughs> My favorite song. Alrighty. We can leave it there. Um, let's talk about the first one. Which is this one. Just put it right there. So I never talk about this because um, this typically only happens with 14 because it's kind of required as far as YouTube goes to have footage along with the song. But like 90% of the time on this channel, I just listen to the music and I have no footage. Sometimes I'm not even a picture, just like a random thumbnail of like text. So I just want to mention like I really like this, this whole aesthetic of this like you know, the lights, everything, it's, it's just really cool. So, I see, well, don't see, but I, I guess I kind of see <laughs> the naming convention of Ink Long Dry, I guess that has to do with all the, the books around and all that, but the first one was so bizarre because it had a lot of things I really liked and a lot of things I didn't. So it was kind of split down the middle, like 50, 50, mm, no, let's, let's say like 60, 40, 60 being that I liked it. But there was a good chunk that just made me like, huh? And the only reason I say it is because the song had like a lot of potential to kind of go into like a cool groove, but it seemed like the whole song was meant to disturb you and to make you feel like not, um, not at home. It seemed very unorthodox, and that's what it was trying to do, was throwing weird things at you on purpose. Changing the timing, adding distorted piano chords that were hit really hard. There were some chords that were um, that were not in the key, so there were just like, it was, there was like some sloppiness to it, which obviously is intended, but, but then when there was like tiny little groove segments, and you know, I was kind of grasping onto that and I liked the whole like lo-fi sort of aspect to it and where it could go but it was just like kept battling with it so very interesting I, I, I can't say that I've like both really liked it and somewhat disliked it at the same time very jazzy and when I say that it's uh, not really the core choices but the whole feeling of it which is know kind of improv free-flowing almost like don't care in a way just letting like the music move you basically the whole theming that I got here was very what's the word I'm thinking of not sloppy <laughs> but kind of like no purpose but yet purposeful it's hard to explain this kind of stuff 
but that's kind of the point of this song. It's just very unorthodox and weird. But overall, I kept getting like I didn't I didn't see any, but I kept getting like clocks in time quite a bit. Both the main I think it was the main melody that played in both songs and also like time slowing down and then picking back up and then kind of like stagnating and you know so it was more like an artistic kind of piece i almost think of it like as a painting you know those kind of paintings where it's just like a blank canvas and then people just start throwing paint and something comes out of it that's what it sounds like um musically it's very different from what i've heard most of, like 90 percent of ff14 stuff i've heard have been battle songs and I really like this kind of like zone stuff because it's like where I feel like most of the experimentation really happens because I feel like it's obviously going towards what the setting is supposed to be and some of the more obscure weirder songs are, are in these like uh, there was there's Lahi whatever it's called I forgot that place there's this one. There's another one that I thought this one sounded like. I can't remember the name of it, but it was also like very piano and it was like rainy outside somewhere. And I think I heard two versions of that too. And there was another one. Oh, and there's that one song that is like infamous that people know I dislike. It's, uh, I can't remember. I think it was like Mortal Instance or something. It's the one where like it was a zone and then you end up in space or something. I just remember I didn't like vibe with it at all. But either way, even even within all that, it's a very unique sounding song that kept battling with my, ooh, this is cool. And then immediately I'm like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> Second one, hard mode. It's almost it's almost like they sound backwards. To me, I mean, I'm a, I'm an outsider, but to me, if I were to if I were to guess which one is the hard mode version, I would think it's the first one I heard. How it's so chaotic and but this one cleans it up quite a bit. It's uh, now very, very cleaned up. It's no longer unorthodox. The percussion's gone. There's no rewinding the record. That little... There's no odd percussion sounds. It's just piano, synth, and violins. This one, though, felt a little more... This one felt a little more haunting. Whereas the first one was just chaotic and like clocks. I don't know why I keep saying clocks, but I just I kept thinking of that. This one felt more like haunted and just very creepy. <laughs> and it sounded to me more like a live performance. Um, as if, what I, what I mean by that is like if they were to play this at like, uh, what's that What's that called? Fan Fest? You know, the little live performers they do. They would play this instead of the first one. The first one would be like kind of a, a chore to play live, where this one, it's like, oh, it's that one. Yeah, oh, yeah, I get it. So that's kind of what I got overall, is this this kind of... There's a lot of confusion, right? The first one definitely sets a tone of... It's, it's hard to ignore. Like, it's one of those songs that just stand out immediately. Even amongst uh, people that play this all the time and hear thousands of songs. And then for me as well, who were, who's only heard music from this game, it sounds out. And then the second one is a little more in line to what I'm used to, but even that was unique. So, I don't know how to feel. It's, it's, it's not bad. It's just definitely like, hmm. So, my only assumption is these people know what they're doing. So, clearly this whole place... This great Google library is meant to be kind of not good. <laughs> Supposed to maybe make you feel unwelcome. Like, look at the books are in like disarray. Everything looks, you know, like it's it on paper it looks okay because it's like a fancy library, but it's it's messed up. So, which goes in hand with the music. The music is like good chords with nice notes you know, blanketed with a bunch of chaotic nonsense. So it's a weird song. <laughs> and 
I wouldn't even guess it was 14 if I had to, if I heard it completely blind with no picture or thumbnail. I wouldn't guess it's 14, but that's cool. That's a good thing because I feel, I don't even know how many videos I've done for 14, but it's the most I've done out of any game here. And to not get bored of it yet, it's because of stuff like this. So if for some reason this is your first video of you watching me, um, yeah, I'm not used to this sound from 14 whatsoever. <laughs> but yet, it's stuff like this as to why it keeps it refreshing. So, it's a double-edged sword. Either way, I still like it. 60-40, though. It's just odd. Let me know if, if... Well, obviously you play this, but let me know if, as, as a player, do you feel the same where it's like kind of a conflicting thing? Or is it with context... It's really, really good. I don't know. I feel like even with the song this jarring, it's still pretty like split down the middle. Who knows? You tell me. But uh, thank you, Justin and Adam, for that. Very unique. Very cool. It's been a while since I've been 14. Thank you to everyone that you see on the screen. I cannot be here without them. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse in the auditorium. And thanks to uh, Mega D for the video. The Great Gubu Library, Ink Long Dry. Let me know if the second one is called that too. Anyway, take it easy. Have a good night. Peace.